Hi, I'm Jacqueline. You guys might know me as Action Jacqueline on Instagram. And this is your gentle morning flow. It's going to feel so good to wake up and move into our bodies so that we can have a beautiful, grateful, and happy day. I'm here at the Grove at the Aloe Yoga Store in Los Angeles, California. It is just beautiful here. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have so many more yoga classes coming your way. So let's get started. Welcome. We are going to start on our knees all the way down in child's pose. So let's take our knees a little bit wide so that we have some space for our bodies. We're going to just gently bring the arms forward and you can bring the forehead all the way down to the mat. So I want you to focus on your breath here as you begin to wake up. Just this gentle pose right here is going to help elongate the spine. We're going to be moving the blood in a different direction than we <laughs> were doing all night long. So since our back is exposed, think about breathing into the back body. So think about taking a nice big inhale in and imagining those back ribs expanding wide and full with new air. And then take a nice big exhale out. A couple more big deep breaths like that, filling up the body with new air, new energy. As we wake up to this new beautiful day. Good. I want you to become more aware of your fingertips. I want you to just start to crawl them forward a tad. And then I want you to, at the same time, bring the hips down and back. So this is expansion happening between the fingertips and the hips. Nice long line happening. Waking up, reaching long across the sides of the body. Nice big inhale in. And exhale. Good job. We're going to crawl the fingertips over to the left side. So that's going to feel really good as we stretch the sides of our body, especially that right side. So continue to sink the hips down towards the floor and reach the fingertips forward. If you have any issues at all with your knees, you can always place a block underneath your hips. Um, you can even roll up a blanket or a pillow and put it in between your thighs and your heels. So that's a good a uh, little modification if you have any sort of knee issues. Good, feel that long arc and stretch happening from the right side over to the fingertips. Should feel really, really good. And now that this side is being exposed and open, uh, think about breathing into the side body. Really actually envisioning that the breath going through and opening up those tight spaces. Take one more inhale in, exhale, let's crawl our fingertips over to the other side. Keep the hips down towards the heels. Good, use the hands as little anchors as you stretch the left side of the body and then imagine the breath going and flowing through easily along that left side of the body. Relax the shoulders, relax the hips. Notice if there's any unneeded tension happening along those areas like the neck, shoulders, and hips. Try to relax, use your breath to just break them up and calm down. One more deep breath in. And exhale, roll all the way up. Good job. Let's come up uh, off of our heels just so that we can give our knees a little break and just come into a nice little seated position, also known as sometimes just crisscross applesauce. And let's just take our head gently over to the right side and then gently take the neck down towards the chest and then to the left. And nice little gentle opening of the back. Good. One more time like that, just rolling through the neck. This is uh, probably one of the best things you could do for, for yourself first thing in the morning because lots of us wake up with kinks in our neck and we sleep wrong and all that kind of stuff. So doing these neck rolls are going to feel so good. So take it over to the right and back reversing what we just did. 
continuing with that breath. And I have my hands to the uh, outside of myself to just kind of balance myself because you are taking your head all the way around so you might feel a little bit unsteady. So just knowing that the ground is there to support you and expanding across the chest too. Good, and then let's just hold it over to the right side. I want you to soften the shoulders down, feel a little bit of an expansion across the chest, keep the shoulders wide, and then just let the head gently fall towards the right side. Breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. I want you to feel how the left side is stretching out. Feel your tailbone on the floor. And begin to just feel grateful for this beautiful and able body that you have. Take a nice big inhale in. Let's go to the other side. And if any of these poses and stretches feel good for you, you're more than welcome to just pause the video and hold the stretch for longer. I definitely welcome you to do that for yourself. Good. Keep the shoulders nice and wide, chest wide, spine is tall and long. So you're stretching your neck from a long, tall position, from a tall posture, as opposed to kind of letting yourself sink down. We're going to start to awaken our muscles by just sitting up nice and tall, practicing good posture. Good, one more deep breath in. Visualize the air going into that neck and just opening it up, loosening it up for the day that's about to come. Good, exhale, come back to the center. Good job, bring yourself up and over those knees. Place the hands underneath your shoulders. We're gonna do a few cat cows, so knees are under hips, hands are under shoulders, and we're just gonna begin by pushing the floor away. So now we're gonna mobilize the spine, push the floor away. Big arc in the, in the upper back, and then starting with the tailbone, lift the tailbone up towards the sky, start to compress the, the bones together in the spine, and then lift the chest and heart up towards the sky. And exhale, starting with the tailbone, tuck it under, curve the spine. One more time, pull the tailbone up. So we're just flowing through these, just waking up the body nice and gently. Good, and then we're going to take a few circles, so just exploring the different directions and, and uh, ways that the body moves. It's pretty incredible all the different ways that we can move, and sometimes we stay so, so linear, so it's good to kind of explore all the different ways that we can move. So just, I invite you to just kind of roll through the spine, find some sort of circles happening, and breathe. Maybe you find something kind of funky or weird, just move through it, and doesn't matter what you look like, no one's watching you. So just move all the way around in your spine and just let it wake up. Bring blood into the spine, bring new air, new light. Good job. All right, take a nice big inhale in. We're going to reach the right arm up towards the sky, and then we're going to thread it through. So thread it all the way underneath your left shoulder. Bring your ear to, your, um, to the floor, and keep that left palm anchored down on the floor. So your, your hips and butt is sticking straight up in the sky as we stretch and twist our spine. So I like to keep my hand down to just help twist and open up the pose here. Good, one more deep breath in here. And exhale, let's come out the same way we came. So finish off by reaching and then placing that hand down. Good job, so lift the left arm up. You're gonna feel a little bit of an open twist here. Exhale, thread the arm through. Keep the right palm on the floor. So this is like your little anchor here. And you can look up towards the sky. Feel how the spine is twisting, ringing out. Relax the shoulders. Breathe. Nice job. Take a nice big inhale and reach up one more time. 
and exhale, place the hands down. Nice job. All right, tuck those toes under. We're gonna come into our first down dog. So gently just press yourself all the way up and back. So this is your first movement of the day. Everything is going to feel a little tight and that's totally normal. So I welcome you to move those feet around, pedal and just get into your body. Whatever you need to do to, you know, wake up and feel good in this pose. Good, and then once you get your little fidgeting out of the way, then let's find a solid position here, and then let's just hold it and breathe into it. So definitely you're gonna feel the backs of the legs stretching. You're gonna feel the arms working. So press into those fingertips, especially that first finger and thumb. If you need to bend your knees here, if you know you're someone who's pretty tight, that's okay. You don't have to have your legs all the way straight. So don't compare yourself to my body. Do whatever is good for you. If you need to bend the knees a little bit, that's okay. It's better to have the knees bent and have length in side bodies and nice long spine as opposed to trying to straighten the legs and you know curving the upper back like this. So bend the knees if you need to, that's totally fine. Good, one more deep breath in. And we're gonna just bend the right knee, keep the left leg straight. So it's kind of like we're pedaling, but just pedaling very slowly. <laughs> good, oh, I got a little crack out of my ankle. It always feels good to wake up those joints. Good, let's switch. So you're gonna keep one leg straight and one leg bent. So you're gonna feel those arms firing up a little bit. So make sure that you aren't sinking in the shoulders, sinking in the ribs. Try to push the floor away from you. You're gonna activate those shoulders a little bit. Pull the belly in. Good, and then straighten both legs. Let's walk the feet forward just a tad. So you're gonna come into like a shortened down dog and now we're gonna take our feet a little wider. So probably almost about the, the width of the mat. Now you're gonna keep your left hand down. You're gonna take your right hand and you're gonna twist and grab for that left leg. So you're gonna feel a nice twisting action. If this is too much for you, again, you can bend the knees so they don't have to be super duper straight. You could also just do the twisting action with the hand on the floor if it's too much to take the hand off. Because you do have to work that arm a little bit as you move through this. Good, so if you're here and you wanna try to look up um, beyond your shoulder, up towards the sky. Nice, and let's switch. Place that right arm down, twist, look up. Again, you can bend the knees if you need to. It, this is a pretty intense stretch in the back of the legs. Moving from your own body, being grateful for your body and what it's capable of doing. Good, take one last big inhale in, place the hand down, and then let's walk our hands all the way back towards our feet. Bend your knees, I just want you to shake out your head. So just shake it around, let it kind of swivel around, feeling nice and loose and weightless. Good, and then we're just going to uh, straighten the legs and we're going to lengthen the spine up. Take a nice big inhale in. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. You can bend the knees here if you need to. They don't have to be all the way straight. Whatever feels good for you. And some days you might feel tighter and um, some days you might feel more looser. And that's totally normal. Every day is different. And feel grateful for whatever you're dealing with today. Good, lower all the way down. Let's grab our opposite elbows and then we're gonna just take a few little swings side to side. This is one of my favorite things to do. I usually do this even when I'm, you know, making my breakfast in the morning and I'm waiting for <laughs> my coffee to brew. I always just like take a nice little forward fold and swing side to side. It just wakes everything up. Good. Place the hands on the, on the ground and then bring those feet back together and bend those knees. And then I want you to just kind of relax your body onto your thighs. Relax the head, relax the neck, relax the arms so they're just dead weight. And then I just want you to slowly, slowly 
super, super, duper slow, roll up. So we're gonna roll up one vertebrae at a time, keeping the feet really planted and rooted into the floor. Keep those knees slightly bent and begin to stack those bones one right on top of the other. Keep the head down, keep the head down. Just breathing bit by bit, inch by inch. Good, and then let the head come all the way up last. Nice job. Let's roll those shoulders out. She feel really good. She feel very much more in tune with your body than you uh, did when you first started this video. Let's take the arms up. Nice big inhale in. We're going to take a big exhale. Open up the chest and the heart up towards the sky. Welcoming our new day. Let's do two more just like that. Inhale. And exhale. Open up the chest and heart to the sky. One more time. Sweep those arms and exhale and reach it all the way up. Bring those hands to heart center and you are all done for the morning. I hope you loved that and I hope you feel so beautiful in your own body. Have a wonderful day.